A retired FBI agent is giving new insight into the abduction of Hannah Anderson, a lakeside teenager kidnapped in 2013 and rescued in Idaho. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetta. I'm Marcella Lee. The 16 year old girl was found in a remote wilderness with a 40 year old man who was shot and killed by FBI agents. As our David Godfordson reports, one agent details the rescue operation tonight on CBS in the latest episode of FBI True. So the Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Area is something on the order of 2.3 million acres. Retired FBI agent Chuck Davis was part of the hostage rescue team that recovered teenager Hannah Anderson 10 years ago from a remote wilderness area in Idaho, more than 1,000 miles from her home in Lakeside. A group of uh, horseback riders were riding way um, back into the wilderness area and came across a gentleman and a young girl who they said were ill-equipped to be in the area where they were. An Amber Alert had been issued for the 16-year-old a week earlier. Officers believed she was kidnapped by a family friend, 40-year-old Jim DiMaggio. This video shows them passing through a Border Patrol checkpoint in Pine Valley. Hannah's little brother, eight-year-old Ethan Anderson, and her mother, Christina Anderson, had been found murdered in a burned-down house in Boulevard, where Jim DiMaggio lived. And the Amber Alert was on the television, and I told my wife, I said, that is that girl we've seen on the mountain. Retired FBI agent Davis spoke to CBS 8 about the rescue operation in advance of his appearance tonight on the FBI True episode airing on CBS. As we were planning the general area search, um, we had aircraft assets up and they had identified a tent and a man and a young girl up at this uh, lake. The FBI video shows DiMaggio on the right and Hannah Anderson on the left. DiMaggio then takes off his shirt and walks away. And then the pilots came over uh, the radio and said, Hannah is down by the lake. She's as far away from DiMaggio as we've seen her from him. So that was the impetus behind us saying, okay, now is the time. In this shot, you can see Hannah waving her arms as if to signal for help, a campfire going in the top right of your screen. They were lost in the wilderness. Here's what she told the Today Show in 2013. He was trying to start a fire for signal for help. And um, then all of a sudden, the fire wasn't working. So I told him, I said, well, I read in a book that if you fire a gun in the air three times, that means SOS. So he went to fire at once and I was watching him and then he fired it the second time, but he like lowered it and then a bunch of guns went off and I, I looked and he fell on the on the ground. DiMaggio's sister Laura filed a wrongful death lawsuit in 2015 claiming her brother was shooting his gun to signal for help. She appeared on CNN accusing the teenager of involvement in the plot. I remember very vividly telling my brother she's trouble. She stated that she was you know very upset with her mother. The sister's lawsuit was dismissed in 2020. As for Hannah Anderson, she is now age 26, living in Vancouver, Washington with her partner and newborn son. Studying to become an MRI technologist, she emailed me a statement saying, quote, I have a family of my own now and an amazing life ahead of me with my guardian angels watching above. Ethan's birthday was Sunday. He would have been 19 years old. I miss them every day, and one day, my son will know what an amazing grandma and uncle he has up in heaven. Now, late this afternoon, DiMaggio's sister, Laura, emailed me saying she currently is producing a podcast detailing the unanswered questions surrounding her brother's death. She wrote, it is my sincerest hope that a comprehensive and unbiased review of events and witnesses will be able to bring peace and healing to everyone who is devastated by these horrific events. Now, I'm out here live at San Diego's FBI headquarters because of this new series airing on CBS details these crimes with interviews with the actual agents who are involved in these crimes. Tonight's episode of FBI True, The Kidnapping of Hannah Anderson, airs at 9 p.m. 
here on CBS 8.